To him who overcomes, I will give him a white stone, and on the stone a new name written which no one knows except him who receives it. He who overcomes, I will write on him the name of my Eloah, and the name of the city, the new Jerusalem, and I will write on him my new name. Scripture contains many promises for those who will inherit eternal life. One of the most beautiful, yet least understood, is the promise that the divine name will be written on the forehead of each overcomer. Today, many parents give their babies names because they like the sounds of them. In Bible times, names were selected for the meanings. Parents would name a baby after a physical trait or for a character attribute they hoped to see in their child. Often, children were named after the god the parents worshipped. King Nebuchadnezzar was named after the Babylonian god of literature and science, Nebu. His name meant Nebu, defend the boundary. Nebuchadnezzar's son, evil Merodach, had a name which meant Man of Marduk. Israelite parents often named their children after Yahuwah. Scripture contains hundreds of names with Yah or Yahu as part of the name, as well as many more that use El as a reference to Elohim. Jacob's name was a constant reminder to him of his sin, since Jacob meant supplanter or cheater. The evening before he encountered Esau and his band of warriors, Jacob wrestled with someone at the brook Jabbok. As the day began to dawn, the angel said, Let me go for the day breaks. But Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. Had Jacob not previously repented of his great sin, such audacity would have been met with instant death. But his was the plea of a soul who knew his sinfulness and, trusting in the promises of a covenant-keeping Heavenly Father, cast all upon him. The heart of infinite love could not reject the sinner's plea. As assurance that he had been forgiven, Jacob's name was changed from one that was a reminder of his sin to a new name that commemorated his victory. What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince hast thou power with Elohim, and with men, and hast prevailed. This is the reward offered every child of Adam, who will repent and return to the Savior for forgiveness and cleansing. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of Yahuwah. However, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sin and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. The Creator is also the Recreator. He will recreate all who turn to him in faith. This act of recreation restores the image of Yahuwah into the mind of any person who is willing to give up sin and return to obedience to his master. When Moses asked to see the face of Yahuwah, he said, I beseech thee, show me thy glory. The gracious response was, I will make all my goodness pass before you, and I will proclaim the name of Yahuwah before you. 
but you cannot see my face, for no man shall see me and live. The next morning Moses rose early. Then Yahuwah descended in the cloud and stood with him there and proclaimed the name of Yahuwah. And Yahuwah passed before him and proclaimed, Yahuwah, Yahuwah El, merciful and gracious, long-suffering and abounding in goodness and truth, keeping mercy for thousands and forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin. Yahuwah's glory is his character. King David prayed prophetically, Let the whole earth be filled with his glory. Scripture foretells a time when it will be said, Holy, holy, holy is Yahuwah of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Isaiah 60 is a prophecy of the last generation on earth. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of Yahuwah is risen upon you. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and deep darkness the people. But Yahuwah will arise over you, and his glory will be seen upon you. Medical scientists have discovered that the frontal lobes of the mind, that portion of the brain that is covered by the forehead, is the part of the mind that governs conscious choice. It is the seat of the conscience. When new habits are formed in place of bad habits, new neural pathways are formed in the brain. The brain itself is actually remolded after the pattern of the new habits. All who, through surrender and faith in the Savior, are given victory over every inherited and cultivated tendencies to evil, will receive the divine character impressed upon their new minds. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, and with him an hundred and forty and four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads. All who enter heaven will have Yahuwah's name written in the forehead, written there because he is the center of their thoughts. This name symbolizes the yielding of the mind to intelligent and loyal obedience to all of Yahuwah's commandments. When the Father's name is written in the forehead, it means that His character is so much a part of your frontal lobes that it is part of your character too. His thoughts, His feelings of love, patience, kindness, and benevolence are now your thoughts and feelings. Where once a man was quick to lose his temper, now patience and forgiveness of others brings a calm, peaceful spirit. A woman inclined to gossip now extends to all the courtesy and kindness of assuming the best of others. Scripture records 360 unique titles for Yahuwah. Each title reflects a different facet of the multifaceted divine character. Each person who is saved will, in his or her own character, reflect an aspect of the divine character. The whole earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of Yahuwah when His people, repentant, forgiven, cleansed, and recreated, perfectly reflect His character. This is having the Father's name written in the forehead. It indicates that the image of the divine has been restored and the human, forgiven, cleansed and recreated, is now again one with the Creator. No one can get himself ready 
But Yahuwah's very name is a promise that he will be everything you need him to be in order to get ready. Claim the promise of Yahushua's name. Yahuwah saves. Call upon the name of Yahuwah. Trust him. His very name, I am that I am, is a promise that he will be everything you need in the battle against sin and self. You too can reflect the glory of the divine character. He is also able to save to the uttermost those who come to Yahuwah through him, since he ever lives to make intercession for them. They shall see his face, and his name shall be on their foreheads.